first and foremost, it's me just as Willie, a person um, who wants to survive. And, and, I, and as I'm approaching 50, I'm looking at my life like my father died at 60. So I, if I go by his, what happened to him, I got 10 more years. You understand? So, so that, that's, that gets very scary when you think about it, because then he died very, very young with full stage blown out, um, um, monesthetized cancer all wrapped around his whole aorta, his whole body, you know? So, and within, he was diagnosed in December of 2000 and 2000, he died in April. That was very, very difficult time for me. I watched my father go from this very strong, athletic man. I mean, if you knew my dad, um, he was a, a you know good, uh, fit man. And to this deteriorated person in months, you know, and that tore me apart. I don't think I've ever recovered from it, to be quite honest with you. And so that by itself was an incentive for me to say, the minute you mention the word cancer to me, it goes, it, it's very sensitive to me. I don't care what kind of cancer it is. So when they said, you're able to go in, get tested, and possibly prevent yourself from having from the you no know, cancer. And I think about my children. I have four children. I have grandchildren. I know how I felt and how I I was angry at my dad. You know, because I said, why if this could have been prevented, why didn't you do that? Oh, yeah. I said, I have a chance to maybe do what I wanted him to do and go and take this test. And sure enough, they found three polyps in my test, three small polyps, and they were removed. They were benign, but what if I wouldn't have done this? And what if those benign polyps turned into cancer and then I didn't never get one and 10 years from now at 60, I find out I have colorectal cancer. You know, and what the, and, and, and I was given an opportunity not to.